This segment brought to you by the Art Gallery of Grand Prairie. Visit aggp.ca. The Teresa Sargent Hall in the Montrose Cultural Center was full of people celebrating art in Grand Prairie. Among them were several of the most prominent artists from the area. The money raised from the auctions, both of the silent and live variety, goes towards operation costs of the gallery, the second largest such gallery in the province. While it's members of the community that buy the auction items, perhaps the most significant contribution comes from the local artists who donate works of art to the auction. Being an artist, in my mind as well, there is no better venue in Grand Prairie than to have your art on display at the art auction. You've got people that are interested in art, they want to come and see art, and to have your piece featured in a professional artistic environment, uh, this is second to none. 100% of the money goes back to the gallery. And I think there's no better cause than something that gives back 100%. I guess the passion for, for art, uh, I believe in art uh, completely, that it's a good for, for everyone, whether you're an artist or not. Uh, that's the, sort of the, the finer things in life that uh, can enjoy and expression of all the talent that's around. Artists in this community get asked to donate um, items to several charities and this is by far probably one of the best charities uh, for artists to donate to because it's, we're giving back to an institution that actually does something for us, so that's good. And plus the fact that it's our buying public that's out there, so it's, it's uh, we learn to hate uh, the word, it's exposure, but this truly is probably the best exposure we could get as an artist in this community. As an artist, I think we have this unique ability to be able to give something back that's, that's worth something to people. So to be able to be a part of that and raise funds for a facility like this is, I mean, it's amazing, it's a great experience. Artists are often alone in their studios or they're uh, wound up in their thoughts or what have you, but it connects them to the community and that's a great thing. That's what we're always trying to do and we, we talk about art as being about communication, so it's a natural, it's a total natural. I've given every year and so it's been sort of a little goal of mine to continue donating every year and, and it's now 33 years. This year was the 33rd annual art auction and one artist that has been to almost all of those is Robert Guest. I think we should provide something for the future. I think we should have something that people can look back on for inspiration, to get ideas as a growing tool. They can add to what they see. They can uh, look at our own history. It's educational, it's entertaining, it's inventive. I think we should set an example because we are privileged in this country to go to many galleries and museums and see things which otherwise we'd never see. Art is a, a critical ingredient in our society. We're, we're living in a very competitive age, very complex, very mechanical, very industrial, and we need the arts, visual arts, performing arts, uh, literary arts, and things like that to help people to free up their spirit, to help them free up their, their own tendencies, their own creative powers, their own inner excitement and core. We need those things. If we can help it grow, if we can help the word get out, if we can help these things increase and be more available more attractive, uh, great. If anything, it's worth it. We're fortunate to be here. I'd like to do something that people can relate to. Uh, any artist, musician, poet, writer, whoever, they have a lot of things going. Quite often they do. A poet, for example, have something that applies to his own, his or her own psyche and, and a core interest, or something that can invite other people into the uh, sphere of interest and uh, so that they can sympathize, so they can mesh, their ideas can become a part of what you're talking about. They can understand better they can relate to what you're saying and doing. I think this is very important. Try to keep it so the average person can relate to it and get something out of it and is willing to put a few dollars out to get it so they'll value it. It shouldn't come too easy. They, to, they should work for it a little bit. Tim Gedke, Eastlink TV.